Yo, what is going on guys? Podhead here, and today we're doing the much-awaited, long-asked-for, whatever you want to call it, um, the next episode in the Substance Review series. Today we'll be reviewing Xanax, and um, yeah, so first and foremost, before we get all the way into the story, I just want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by me. Um, I just dropped some new hats on Hopeless. Um, They're $15, but... If you get uh, anything over $25, you get a free one. So go shop. Um, What's left, we're going to have some new long sleeves and hoodies soon, but there's still some track suits left on the website. I'm going to put it in the uh, description box. Thank you guys so much for your help and your support because these videos definitely do not pay for themselves. (laughs) So if you want to keep seeing them, please support me. Love you guys. First and foremost, never do Xanax. Terrible drug. Unless you get it prescribed to for anxiety in small doses, then it's cool. But... Recreational use, garbage, trash, awful, stay away. Especially now with every single Xanax bar you see is fake. Like, everyone, all fake. And people still do it. They still sell out by the thousands. So, first time I ever did Xanax, um, my friend Willie came over. And uh, as most of the first times I've done drugs are, he had just recently done it and was raving to me about how fucking sick it was. And I'd always been... You know, down to drink lean, down to smoke weed, and I was like, I'm never doing a Xan. That shit looks fucking awful. Because I always saw people in Xans, and they were like blacked out, fucking, you know, people in Xans. It doesn't look too fun, and it's not too fun. But he's like, no, 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 like, it's going to be sick. Like, I'll pull up with some Xans, it'll be dope. So this was like 2017, sophomore year in high school. Um, We go up to Willie's house. We go to his basement, the infamous basement, where the uh, episode one video on this channel is filmed. And... You know, he's got like five Zans and like a powder, like a bag of Xanax powder that he said his plug sold to him for like five bucks. I was like, okay, sus. So he puts the bag of powder in a soda and we each pop a bar. And I'm like, well, this should be interesting because I felt the soda immediately. And it just like started to like drain my face out and like my eyes started to get low and like stuff just wasn't like. Like, I wasn't as perceptive as I would be, and, you know, it kind of felt like I was getting drunk, and that's really what a Xanax bar is. It's like a fucking bottle of vodka and a pill. So, we're sitting there, we're smoking, and, like, an hour into this thing, I really feel this shit hitting, I'm like, oh, my God, like, I was floating, so I, like, stood up, and I couldn't walk straight, I was, like, leaning over to the side, and I was like, fuck, and Willie's just laughing at me, like, hiccuping, like, you know you're off the shits on Zans when you just start hiccuping for no reason, my boy's in the corner hiccuping his ass off, (laughs) and, uh, I go upstairs to go fucking grab, like, I don't even know, like, some milk or cookies or some shit like that, some high-ass snacks, and I come down, and I was always had a struggle with this staircase, because it was, like, a carpet staircase, and it was super slippery if you were in socks, so I almost slipped, but I didn't, but, so I get down, I got the snacks secured, we fucking throw in a movie, I think we decided to watch like Interstellar or something, dope, we're eating, we're smoking, we're high, fun time, and the movie goes on, goes on, still super high, still sipping this Sprite, still off this bar, and Willie's like, should we pop another half, and I'm like, we should pop another half, because <laughs> once you start like getting into like Xanax, I don't know, like, you just start like doing more all the time because once you're like off the zans you're like nah, i could do that i could do that like <laughs> uh, it's so dumb never do zans anyway so we popped this other half we're like halfway through in- interstellar i remember like once the, the super in- intense music starts playing and the cornfields start burning i was just so high bro like just leaning back in this couch like about to fall asleep for show so I look outside and all of a sudden it was dark out and I was like, what the fuck? But this was in the winter, so it pretty much got dark after 5 p.m. But regardless, I go upstairs again to fucking, I don't know, get a drink or like, I don't know. There was no fridge downstairs at this point, so we had to go upstairs every time we wanted to get like water or like anything. So I go upstairs, I grab like a sparkling water or something, and I eat shit on these stairs. Let me tell you, like I slide down these whole fucking shits, like hitting my head on the back of each one, like bah, 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 loud as fuck. Get to the bottom, like it was definitely loud. But Willie's just laughing at me and I don't hear anything of it at the time. And I get to the fucking table, I crack open the sparkling water and you know, I'm chilling. And uh, I think we throw on another movie maybe just some TV or like some YouTube videos, but we were just sitting on that couch all night just fucking 
faded, high as fuck. Like I wasn't driving anywhere. Like that was, that was like the highest I think I'd been at that point. So the next day rolls around. I wake up out of my fucking Xanax induced coma or whatever. Like, you know, when you get up after being super high, it's a hangover pretty much. Your head hurts and it's all that. So, well, also, I guess I banged my head on like seven stairs. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so I wake up to the lovely sound of Willie and his mom arguing upstairs. And I'm like, oh, this should be interesting. And he comes downstairs and he's just like, you won't fucking believe this shit. And I'm like, what? He's like, my mom is pissed because she heard you fall down the stairs last night and i'm like why and she's like she thinks we got like drunk or something and we were wiling out i was like damn we were wiling the fuck out and he's like i know but just you know keep it on a low cam and try and deal with it so she comes downstairs and she's like i'm actually going to talk to you i'm like oh fuck here we go and she like brings me upstairs and she's like what are you thinking like don't fucking make all that noise at night around you like i'm trying to sleep like that was so fucking loud i'm like i know i'm sorry like i'm sorry i just fucking slipped down the stairs and she's like are you drunk were you under the influence of anything i was like no just smoking weed right hand of god (laughs) and uh she's like well okay i mean i guess i was like those stairs are slippery as fuck like come on that shit could have happened to anyone and she's like yeah yeah i guess you're right The funniest part about this story is that every single time we would bring someone new over to Willie's house to do Zans, they would fall down that fucking staircase, bro. Cinto, fucking three other kids that I won't say their name of because I hate them. But yeah, bro, that shit was fucking slippery. Now, to the informational part of the video. Never do Xanax. It's super bad for you. I know like at least four or five of my homies who have passed away from quote unquote Xanax bars, but in reality, it's like some sort of fentanyl or like flu alp or just some ridiculous chemical compound put into this fucking chalky ass white pill stay far away from these shits these are probably i think right now the easiest way to die on the street i in my opinion Mm, maybe 30s but those two are the most dangerous pill on the street right now stay far away do not fucking buy them shits and definitely just just don't start doing them Unless you're already doing them, then be safe. But, like, it's not fun. It's really, like, this lifestyle is not worth it. I'm learning that every day. So, trust me. I'm trying to get out of this shit and tell you guys not to do it. That's why I'm here. That's why these stories are getting made. But, yeah. um, I'm probably going to re-edit this and have something at the beginning about this. But go cop anything from the Hopeless website. I'm going to put the link in the video. And uh, everything that you buy over $25 comes with a free hat. We just dropped these hats. They're pretty sick. So, yeah, go and support me because these fucking videos definitely do not pay the bills. (laughs) Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.